Hey, what's going on survivors of religious abuse? All my survivors of any type of abuse out there, what is going on? This is your sister Gina Blue and I am back again giving you some education, giving you some advice, giving you some tips and tricks on how to move on, how to move forward, and how to also stay aware of your surroundings and things going on in the news so that you don't fall victim to anything so today i just want to go ahead and talk about something that has been brought to my attention now i am going to still make you guys aware of anything that i feel you need to be aware of aware of as far as dealing with the cult that i was in and just bringing you some news and updates that are very crucial and the media is not talking about this so guess what I'm gonna talk about it since the media won't okay obviously black people black women is not that important to the media um, cults being a destructive cults um, how it damages your life how it has a traumatic effect on your life obviously no one is caring about that because it's not happening to them so people tend to only um, associate themselves with things that they can relate to that they experienced in life so they a lot of times do not have empathy for people going through things like that that they don't know nothing about and they don't care to even do the research which is sad so I'm going to go ahead and bring it to you today so we are going to talk about the missing member of IUIC which is a 21 year old woman I'm not going to do the talking I'm going to let the news do the talking and then I'm going to come back and we're going to discuss a few things so stay tuned and watch the uh, video clip I'll be right back with my thoughts and my words and my advice to anyone still in that cult and anyone in a cult. Enjoy. By the police, and I believe she's a church, she's a church sister. I'm gonna put it on loudspeaker so that we all know what's going on. And let's see what she's gonna say. Carol Morgan has been trying to contact the church her daughter is part of. Hello, your call cannot be taken at this moment, so please leave your message after the turn. And I'll phone you back if I could speak about my daughter, please. Thank you very much. Carol says the church was like family to Joy. That was the only people that she associated with, associated with circled herself with, it was just with her brothers and sisters, her family, she says, her church and her family, they were that important to her. Do you feel the church has been helpful? No, they have not. Not in my eyes. No one's contacted me personally via from the church. You know, all the, all the internet that's out there, they could have left a message and some way it would have come through to me, nothing. Is there a chance that the church just haven't been able to contact you but they've been trying i think personally impossible i've got a mobile i've got a house phone i also have an address so you know out of the three of them if you couldn't get me on the phone you could have sent a letter so you think they they could have easily found your address they could have easily found my address joy was last seen in ilford on boxing day at the church she was reported missing to the police over a month later. Carol feels the police and media have been slow in highlighting her daughter's case. It just makes me feel, what, what is so different about my child that my child doesn't validate the fact of being shown on the television to say I, child of England, is missing. I, I, I can't put into words how I feel. I feel like I see inside. But I still believe that my daughter is alive. We've also tried contacting the church, but with no luck so far. Carol says the whole family feel broken. Okay, you guys, so you've seen the video. Um, wow, I'm shocked, I'm disgusted, and I can't even say that I didn't know that this was coming. I didn't know something like this was coming, you guys. That's a cult. 
IUIC is a destructive cult and um, it is sick. And you know what is really shocking that caught my eye is the fact that she said the church family was everything to her. She only hung around with members of IUIC her brothers and sisters because they tell you to separate from your family and your friends now this is the outcome of her putting her trust in IUIC looking at black people thinking oh I can trust this this is really my brother I finally found the truth oh yeah you know this is it I'm getting closer to God and all this stuff this is the outcome of the cult technique of isolation to separate yourself from your support system, from your your army, your family, your friends who know you, who, who can be there to back you up, who can be there to help you. This is the outcome of listening to IUIC's policies and procedures and dumb shit. I'm just gonna keep it real. It's dumb. All of that is made up. They are in their own little world, guys. Their own little world. And I'm going to bring awareness to everything that I feel that you guys need to be aware of because I know that you will not do the research on your own. I know that you will not even find it important enough to look into these things because most of you have a negative mindset if you think somebody is after because they put this fear in your mind so you don't even think logical so now you're thinking in conspiracy theories you're thinking all type of um doctrine that you were taught you're not thinking like a normal person using their brain and this is not for everybody. This is to those people who will not do the research. And no matter what warning signs that God give you, you still want to find out the hard way. This is for you because you can be next. You can be missing next. And what IUIC is going to do now is say, oh, we didn't know. We don't have any affiliation with them. We don't know anything. Our sincerest apologies. And because I know how they get down. And the article that I'm going to post in my description box shows you the fact that they don't give a damn about joy. They give a damn about their image. They put in their their uh, on their website as a notification. Oh, um, and shame on whoever speaks about this to come against IUIC. No, 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 no. You that's another tactic so for people to shut up. That's another tactic for people to shut up because you guys are wrong. You do not care about people. You don't even care about the death of this person because this happened so much with you guys. You don't give a damn because you're going to, you're still going to go for the people who are spiritually dumb. You're going to go for the people vulnerable. You're going to go for people looking for answers. You're going to go for the people who don't research on their own. You're going to go and see and seek and be a prey and look for those people because you know who to get you go to the poorest parts of the the cities to find these people down and out to find these people who need to hear some uplifting words who need to be inspired because they're going through something right now in their life but the thing is it's temporary what they're going through but the IUIC will pull you in that temporary depression state they will pull you in when you feel alone they will pull you in when you feel like you need a family or a church or something new they will pull you in with a seduction like oh we're family Family. In reality, you don't know you don't know this person at all. You don't know these people around you. You don't know who who are murderers. You don't know who are molesters. You don't know who are pedophiles. You don't know who is plotting to get you your ass alone so they could do something to you like they did with this girl. And I, I just feel women, y'all the victims, y'all are the targets. They're looking for young, dumb black women, young, dumb black, Hispanic and Native American women who are going through something, who don't have a father figure, who don't have a, a, a great support system, who don't have a great family. They're looking for you, who looking for marriage, who desperate to get married, who who can't find a man, who um, 
need who feel the need to have someone else change them when it's really them that's changing them iuic didn't teach you how to be quiet you be, you was quiet you have you gave yourself the permission to be quiet they didn't do nothing for you this is what y'all need to understand you doing it on your own now imagine you doing it on your own without them you do not need them to teach you or show you or guide you anywhere because obviously they're guiding people to death literally and um i i hope i hope they find her missing body i'm, I'm trying not to get emotional because this is this is sick this is sick and sad man and i showed my sisters this so that they can be aware. I said, look at this, man. That could have been me. That could have been me. Y'all could have been been in turmoil and, and depressed and, and, and feeling all these different emotions for me missing. And I just, you guys, just think. Think. We don't have to go out our way to make up lies and rumors. The truth will prevail. The truth will stand. It will always stand. And so I'm just going to leave you guys with that. Oh, man. I, what do you guys think, man? I, I told you, man. People are telling you guys, warning you guys, you're not listening. So whoever is listening, God bless you because you are going to avoid all of this. You're going to avoid all of that. You're safer in the world than you are in a cult. Believe me. You can't run from the world. The world's going to always be here. You got to learn to live in it. Learn to deal with your problems. Learn to be an adult. Learn to take responsibility. You do not need to follow anyone. You don't need anyone telling you what to do. You need to take control and take charge of your life and plan out what you want to do with your life one day and one step at a time focus on that one thing until you accomplish it and move on you don't need anybody telling you they're they're the way to god because that is a damn lie and i'm just going to end it there thank you guys for watching i know this is a kind of deep one um i had to get this out i do not give a damn who have an issue with it you can kiss my ass you can kiss my ass because I'll be damned if I don't speak about this young woman who trusted you guys. Just like I did, just like many other women and men trusted you guys without any proof of just believing in y'all. Without proof of Jack. So I'm definitely going to keep talking about it. And bring awareness. So y'all share this video. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm so sick. Of sick people. That's all I'm going to say. Until next time you guys. I will see you on the next. My next episode. Man this is this is crazy. That's all I got to say. And thank you again to the young women. Who brought this to my attention. Wow. God bless y'all. Stay safe. Stay aware. And if you in that cult, I'm telling you, you need to get up out of there. Play sick. Act like somebody died. I don't care. The first step is to make space away from them so you can start thinking for yourself again. You can start seeing what's going on because they bombard you so much with stuff that you're overwhelmed. So you don't even know what to focus on. You don't even know what's going on. You're just in a habit and you just, you can get stuck like that. That's how you get stuck. Get about it, airman. All right, y'all. Peace.